Hi, my name is Randy Estes with Valve Accessories and Controls, and today we're going to be talking about installation and calibration of our 4 to 20 output for our V200 positioner. The first thing we need to do before we install the feedback kit is calibrate the positioner. There are three major components to the V200 feedback kit the gear wheel with indicator screw, the potentiometer, and the terminal board. The first step in installation of the 4 to 20 feedback is to install the gear wheel so that it aligns over the cam locking nut screw, then secure the gear wheel with the indicator screw. The second step of installation is to install the potentiometer into the hole pictured here where the screwdriver is pointing. As we start to install the potentiometer, it is important to make sure that we have proper alignment with the smaller wheel on top of the potentiometer and the large gear wheel. We may need to push back on the potentiometer small gear wheel in order to make sure that we have proper alignment. The last step of installation is to install the terminal board. The terminal board is located directly below the I to P and is held in place by one screw. Then we must connect the ribbon cable to the terminal board. If our, if our valve is opening counterclockwise, we'll have the CCW facing us. and If it's clockwise, the blank side facing us. Now that we've properly installed our V200 feedback into our V200, we now need to calibrate the V200 feedback. To do this, we need two devices that have a 24 volt source. One device will push a 4 to 20 milliamp signal to the I to P. The other will be reading the 4 to 20 milliamp output from the feedback. Here is where the course adjustment is located. Now we need to make our course adjustment. We need the output of the, of the feedback to read somewhere between 3.5 and 4 milliamps. Here is the zero trim pot. Now we need to use a zero trim pot to trim the 4 milliamp output to 4 milliamps. Here is where the span trim pot is located. Now we need to input a 20 milliamp control signal to our I2P and use a span trim pot to trim the 20 milliamps output on the feedback. It is always good practice to check our 4 milliamp output after we've done our span. 